Hi, it's Mike at Phase One. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Today we're going to have a look and we're going to have a talk about one of our more popular brands of speakers in the shop and one of their more popular ranges. We're going to talk about RCF. RCF is part of the RCF group, which is a huge group who make transducers uh, for many other speaker brands. Now, not many people know that. They make them for themselves and they also make them for other companies. And today we're going to look at the very popular Art Series. series this is the entry level art series and there is actually three speakers in the series there is an art 310 an art 312 and an art 315 all active now yeah you've spotted we've only got we haven't got the art 10 the art 10 I don't have here today for the purposes of the video sorry about that but there is a 10 inch version and it's called the art 10 uh, but what we've got here is quite interesting because there is two of the series here. We've got a 312A here, and we've got a 315 here. Now, 315, 15 inch driver. 312, 12 inch driver. But have you noticed? They're all exactly the same size. Yep, this one here is the Art 315. This one is a 312, and the one on the end is a 312. So the cab size is exactly the same. Now obviously with the 310 it is a smaller cab. Now I'm reading off my bits of paper here. The 10, they're all 800 watt amplifiers in them. Um, and we have got a 1 inch voice coil on the top. And we've got a 10 inch driver on the bottom for the 10. And a 12 obviously and a 15 for the other. Weight wise, uh, the smaller one, which is the 10, comes in at 12.2 kilo. The 12 comes in at 16.8 kilo. And the 15, 17.1 kilo. So not a lot of difference between those two. And like I say, they are exactly the same size. When it comes to the SPL, because like I say, they're all 800 watt cabs throughout the range, they obviously do have different SPLs. So we've got 127 dB, dB on the 10, and then we go up to 128, and then 129. 1 dB is a lot. So, yes, the 15 is the loudest in the range, but I will say my most popular cab and my favourite cab is a 12. I do like to use a 12 wherever possible. I just think you get a nice, tighter sound in the mid-range and the vocals, and then if you want to put an 18-inch bin or a 15-inch bin with it, it'll work really, really well. Let's have a look at the back of the units. Right, so let's have a look at the back of the unit. Now, we are looking at the Art 315A in this instance, but I can assure you, Right across the 3 Series, they're all the same. In fact, across the Art Series, they're all the same when it comes to the user interface on the back. It's very, very simple. We've got our input and we've got our link on 3-pin XLR. We've got a quarter-inch jack here. And we've got our volume pot. And we've got a little button for a flat response and a boost response. I think possibly if you were a DJ, you'd probably want it to have it on boost. If you were doing um, some more acoustic things and you want to add a lot of EQ from your mixer and effects, I think you'd probably want to go with a flat response. We've got our limit button, signal and power LED indicators. And what we've got here, and I do think this is uh, a nice touch actually, it's a recessed switch for line level and mic level. Now the reason why I like that is, is it's just simple. And there's not going to be an accident. You're not going to accidentally catch this uh, when you're moving it around or setting it up and be able to accidentally stick it into mic level and then stick a line level through it and damage the speaker. It's a recess switch and it's either line or mic. Now what you might have noticed here as well is a lot of speakers these days have a lot of different DSP settings. RCF with the Art Series have chosen not to do this. They believe that the uh, speaker is voiced up and tuned up correctly and you will be able to um, EQ up via your desk and your mixing desk to get the sounds that you wish to achieve. 
They have put a lot of effort into the fur phase technology. Now, I'm not going to try and explain the fur phase technology. There's a label there. Um, because there is a very good video from RCF, which I will put a link in it. It is very technical. Um, what RCF have done with their fur phase though is, because they're making all the transducers and all of the uh, components that are going into these cabs, is that the data they have got from them components are very, very accurate. So they believe their fur phase technology is some of the most accurate in the industry. So there is no DSP settings. We've got our volume knob here. There's a little triangle at the top. Let me tell you that that is not 0 dB. 0 dB is actually full on. So I would recommend when running any of the art series, run it at quarter past, you'll be absolutely fine. Anywhere between two o'clock and full on is 0 dB. So that is a quick look at the art 3 series, like I said there is 3 in the range but unfortunately I've only got 2 here to show you today, that's the 315, the 312 and the is a 3110. What I like about this cab is it's a simple cab, I think it's priced at a point that's just unbelievable value for money, uh, actually RCF have changed their pricing on this, uh, now if you're watching in the future uh, we better talk about when that pricing changed, that pricing changed around about March, April time of 2019 and for more pricing information on all these products, if you click the link in the description to this video, if you're watching it on YouTube, it'll take you through to our website and it'll give you some more info on the range. We're also in this video going to have a look at 7 Series. That's coming up next. You can get covers for these as well. The covers are really, really good quality. We will show you some covers later in the video. But for now, that's my little insight and look at the RCF Art 315 and 312 and basically the three, the three series from RCF. in the range that we're going to look at the art series of RCF speakers is the 7 series. Now 7 series means there's 7 models in the range. Yes I know there's only 3 here but these are the ones I had on the shop floor at the time. We have got the art 710, we have got the art 712 and the art 735. Now in the range there is actually a 745, a uh, 715, a 712, a 710 and a 708. Now that's quite a lot in the range. Let me explain how it works. Right, let's see if we can make sense of the lineup. First it's a 7 series, so there's 7 cabs in the range. So that's what the 7 stands for. Let's look at the 745. 7, 7 series, 4, 4 inch voice coil on the top, 5, it's a 15 inch driver. 735, 3 inch voice coil on the top and a 15 inch driver. 715, 1 inch voice coil on the top, 15 inch driver. So all those are actually 15s, but they've got different size horn units. Then we come down to the 732 and the 712. The 2 stands for 12, so both of these are actually 12 inch speakers. And this has got a 3 inch voice coil, and this has got a 1 inch voice coil. Also we go down to the 710, obviously the 10 is a 10 inch speaker and then we've got the 708 which is an 8 inch speaker. All of the units apart from the 8 are 1400 watt amplifiers but they are different cabs. Don't be misled to think that these are all going to be the same power because they're not. The 708 is an 800 watt amplifier. Let's talk about what the differences are across the range and then you can maybe work out which one would be most suited to you. Right, so there's quite a few of these speakers in the range, but which one's going to be more suitable to you? And obviously the 745 being the top of the range, what is it that's differentiating it from the 735, which is also a 15-inch speaker? 
Right, well let me tell you, it's all to do with power. I know all of these speakers have got a 1400 watt amplifier, but they are very, very different. Let me tell you about the SPL. Now, this is where we're taking dB readings, and this is where the numbers start to go up. So looking at the 712, which is actually this cab here, that is 129 dB. But if you went up the range to the 732, that would actually give you, because it's got a bigger horn voice coil, take you up to 131 dB. Night, dB. Little numbers, big differences. So between 129 to 139, to 131, sorry, there is a huge difference. So yes, the 732 is going to be a much louder cab. Then we get to the 715, the 735, and the 745. Yep, the 745 is the monster in the range. This is a really loud cab, giving you 133 dB. You come to the middle product, which is 735, with a 3 inch voice coil on the top, 132 dB, and then the entry level on the 7 series in the 15 inch range gives you a 130 dB. the units instantly straight away they're exactly the same as the 3 series so they've kept it nice and simple all we've got is XLR in XLR out we've got our mic line switch which is recessed which I talked about earlier we've got a quarter inch jack we've got our volume pot as well and we've got our flattened boost so throughout all of the art series the amplifier module does look the same which makes it great if you're moving from one cab to the next cab or upgrading you're going to be completely familiar with the range. Just out of interest, I'd just like to tell you that the RCF 7 series actually did win a Red Dot Design Award. Um, this is a, quite a prestigious award to win and the 7 series did win this. Other things just to note as well, this is an Italian made cab. It's made out of plastic, you've got a handle on the, on the top. They're all the same right the way through the range. And when you come to the bigger unit, because that's the 10, we go up from the 10, we also get a side handle as well, so it's really easy to manoeuvre and carry about. And of course, they've all got 35mm speaker uh, top hats in the bottom to use as a standard speaker stand. So there is a range of bags as well that go with all of the Art Series speakers. This is the Art 710 in here at the moment uh, and it's on a speaker stand so the, the speaker bags can actually be uh, used while, while the speakers are in them. So there's a hole in the bottom for you to put your speaker stand pole in and of course it's got the RCF badge on the front. They have got really heavy duty zips so a nice and thick, nice thick padding on the front. That can fall around that way, coming to the back of the unit we can unzip the amp panel and then holding that back there there's a piece of handy velcro there and there to hold it all in place I mean some people don't like to use the speakers in bags but you know the opportunity is there so now we can get access panel to the amplifier here's a little lip on the top so you can access the handle from the top as well all in all you know they are nice speakers and you would want to protect them and they do a great range of bags that go with the whole series so there you go that was just a little insight into the rcf art range of speakers there's a lot in the range so we thought we'd maybe break it down into some bite-sized chunks uh, seven series seven speakers three series three speakers three series is probably the entry level uh, at, the, at the cheaper end of the market 
and then we can go right up to the big stuff which you know there's some serious sound there with the 735 and 745 uh, if you want to click the link in the description to this video it'll take you through to our website and there'll be some site you know some more information on the speakers and the brands um, we just wanted to show you that uh, here in the shop uh, and just bring it back to everyone's attention uh, as there's been a new pricing uh, reduction on all of the art range which I do think it brings it to a new whole price point uh, really really interesting and a very very popular product here at phase one there's no point in me putting it on I'm not going to play it's, it's, you're going to listen through your computer uh, I would love you to come down to our shop where we've got most of the range on demo and you can come and have a listen it's Mike at phase one cheers <laughs>